she ice free, free photo. Welcome back to another video from Street Ride. This is your boy Rick. And check it out. My new wheels that just came in. So I'm gonna open them up so I can show you guys finally. My uh, new 18 inch wheels for blue look like. This is my track setup. So it'll be just to try to get those amazing times. And uh, we went ahead and got some 18 by eight and a half um, wheels. Forged of course, lightweight. And uh, we're just gonna have to get some, some new tires on them. I think we're looking at the uh, DR2s, it's what we wanna go with. It's a little tricky because I don't have a trailer. So it's hard to get the car where I gotta get it with those tires. But we'll figure it out. So let me go ahead and show y'all the wheels. Y'all guess what color I decided to go with? Y'all know before, I went with black. So what color y'all think I'm gonna go with this time? Woo, bronze. And I went with a matted finish, satin finish uh, on the other wheels that we got. I went with a um, gloss. This one we're going satin. They kind of resemble the wheels I have now. There are little differences. Like for instance, the, there's no groove here. It has these holes here, but they still fork off. Still five forks. Yeah, I can't wait to put them on. Let's weigh them and see where we're at. What I'm seeing is about 19 pounds. These wheels are a little wider. <clears throat> Even though I've had success doing this in the past, let's, let's lift it up. And yeah, 19 pounds. I was hoping they'd be 18 and a half, but 19 pounds. My Vision Forge wheels were um, were 20, 21 or 22 pounds. I have to check out the video, something like that. We're lighter by a couple pounds. Um, that's not to take into consideration how much lighter the tire will be. And then we'll get the over, overall size because it'll be less rubber than what I have on the 19 by nine wheels. All in all, <clears throat> looks good. And this time, instead of getting the Vision Forge in white, like I did over here, see it in white. Uh, I went ahead and just color matched it with the wheel. I don't remember how I did the caps. It might be color match too instead of the white. All right, now we gotta get tires for them and then we'll get them on the car and then we'll do some runs. All right, so we had to wait on the tires to come in, but they did come in. So let me show them to you real quick. So all those was wondering what tires I was gonna go with. DR2's a 245 4018. And of course, we're gonna mate them to these 18 inch forged wheels that we have here. I'm hoping the setup will save me at least 10 pounds per corner. We're gonna need every little bit of help we can get to get this car to cross the quarter mile at the time that we want. I still don't have 034's turbo inlet yet, the, the big one, super duper. But we're still gonna make a attempt with the little tiny CTS inlet that we, uh, we have. I don't expect the inlet to make that huge of a difference. It's not like I don't feel like it's gonna pull extra tenths of seconds, but if we are half a tenth away or something like that, then I would, I would think that the inlet, turbo inlet would help us, but there they are. So I'm gonna get these mounted either Monday or Tuesday. Temperature is really cold right now and I'm not really interested in that because um, we need these to heat up nicely and stick. I'm gonna try them on the road. Hopefully I can get them to the track, try on the track and see what we can do. But before we do that, let's go ahead and weigh this tire and see where it comes in at. All right, so as usual, gonna get this scale here. There it is. Saying 21.6, it's actually better than I thought it was gonna be. I wanna weigh that again. Let's take it off. Let's go ahead and put it back on. Yep, 21.6. That's with all the tape and stuff on it too. I expected it to be like 22. Let me try another one. Let's see here. This one also 21.6. I wonder if this scale is off. All right, let's do it the old fashioned way. The reason why is I weighed them earlier and they were 22. 
pounds. I mean, it's kind of cold in the garage. I don't know if that makes a difference, but let's see. That's 210.8. And then with this tire in my hand, 232.8. So that's, that's 22 pounds. So that's the 22 pounds. I don't know why the scale was off like that, but that's the 22 pounds. Yeah, okay. All right, so we're back from getting the tires put on. So they are looking spicy. I'm loving them on these rims. All right, we're gonna go ahead and weigh them so we can see what we kind of save. First, let me show you what the wheels I have on now, the Vision Forge wheels. Right here, this, this version of it. Let me show you how much these weigh, and then we will go ahead and weigh these. See how much weight we can save. My homeboy's S4. So I guess the rubber, you know, has worn down. So it was 52 originally when I put the wheels on, but now we're down to 49 pounds. That's, that's a lot of weight that's kind of shedded. Maybe that's normal. Okay, got our trusty scale. We'll just grab this wheel right here. <laughs> the leaves are sticking to it. That's probably where the tape was. There it goes. Whoo! 41. 6 pounds. Well, that's some weight saved right there. That's what I'm talking about. I can't wait to see what these will do. So right now, blue is on 93. So we're gonna get blue washed up. And tonight we're gonna do a couple of 93 pulls, see if we can uh, improve our time from the past. I'll put up a little video so you can do a comparison of 93 run on the all seasons, Michelin all seasons, and then what the 93 run on these DR2s are gonna look like. I'm really loving these bronze wheels. I can't wait to see what they look like on the car. three full weight run and I know that DA is somewhat of a factor but let's not forget that the road is very cold and DR2s actually prefer heat for better traction now this is 93 so it was easier to keep traction in the cold but when we get to E60 it's going to be a little bit more challenging I believe with the results that we have here with the best time being the 1084 I am excited to see what E60 is going to do with these DR2s it actually could be possible that I break into the nines. And that would be amazing, considering the S5 Sportback is one of the bigger, fatter models. We're gonna go ahead and switch back to our all season tires for now until I'm able to get some E60 and some time to do some runs. And hopefully on that night, we're gonna crack the nines. Thank you. And keep an eye out for the next video. Peace.